Dear people watching and listening, Assalamu alaikum. Kindly like and share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly support me through my Patreon so that I can keep making such videos. Start of Part 1 The People of the Book Start of Chapter 1 Our First Customers Kuntum Khaira Ummati Ye are the best of peoples. Ukhrijat Linnas Evolved for Mankind Ta'muruna Bil Ma'roof Enjoy what is right. وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And forbidding what is wrong. وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ And believing in Allah. وَلَوْ آمَنَ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ If only the people of the book had faith. لَكَانَ خَيْرَ لَهُمْ It were best for them. مِنْ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Among them are some who have faith. وَأَكْثَرُهُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ But most of them are perverted transgressors. Holy Qur'an, Surah Ali Imran, Chapter 3, Verse 110 Leave them alone? The above ayah is one of the most versatile verses of the Holy Qur'an. I have heard dozens of lectures from our learned brethren reciting the first half of the ayah, stopping at the word Allah, followed by different dissertations. Indeed, I have done the same with the exposition of over half a dozen different topics. During the question and answer session at the end of my lectures in Newcastle, I was asked as to my reasons for not leaving the Jews and the Christians alone in my discourses and writings. In answer to this question, I read the first half of the above verse and asked my audience to indicate the number of people who were familiar with the quotation. In the audience of about 300, 11 brothers put up their hands. I then requested if any of the 11 were Hafizul Quran, they should put their hands down since they were expected to know the whole verse by virtue of their memorization of the Holy Quran. Three out of the eleven put down their hands. I asked the remaining eight individually to complete the second half of the verse. There was a hundred percent failure. I too had been in the same boat with regard to the memorizing of this ayah for a very long time. In my experience, I have not yet heard an exposition of the second half of this verse, and have also noted that none of the commentators of the Holy Qur'an have anything to say on it. It is as if there is some kind of conspiracy on their part, but there is no conspiracy. The first half of the ayah is so versatile and adaptable that every expositor delivers his message on the righteous behavior and admonitions against straying from the path based on this half of the verse. They appear to be content to conclude their comments on this half of the verse and bask in the satisfaction of a job well done. The answer to the question, why pick on the Jews and the Christians, is to be found in the second half of the Quranic quotation above, paraphrased. But if only the people of the book, meaning the Jews and the Christians, if they hearkened unto this message, the message of the Holy Qur'an, it will be better for them. In other words, it will also be better for you, O Muslims. Among them, that is Jews and Christians, are some who are a goodly people, but the majority of them are perverted transgressors. Holy Qur'an, Surah Ali Imran, Chapter 3, Verse 110 At the very outset, in the verse introducing this treatise, Allah confers upon the Ummah the honor, privilege, and high status of being the best people evolved for mankind. 
that is evolved for the good of mankind. This high honor and status imposes upon us the duty and responsibility of selflessly sharing this noble status with the rest of mankind. It is the Ahli Kitab, the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians, with whom we should begin with since they have already been prepared for this message. After all, numerous prophets have proclaimed the message to them. They do not deny possession of a scripture and boast the revelation of the Torah, the Zabur, and the Injil by their respective prophets. Accordingly, they are the fittest and best prepared of people to accept the latest dispensation of Islam. They should have been the foremost in submitting their will to the will of Allah in Islam, a renewal and a confirmation of the revelation already with them. Yet they have been the first to reject it. And why the rejection? What are their considerations? Nevertheless, theirs is not a totally lost case. Allah assures us that among the Jews and the Christians are some who are sincere, but the majority of them are perverted transgressors. To the good Christian, we must apply the best methods of getting our message true to both the goodly person as well as the rebellious, arrogant person. To the goodly among them open the Holy Quran and bring to light these verses of chapter 3, beginning with verse 42. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah hath chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly, prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen, which we reveal unto thee, O Prophet, by inspiration. Thou wast not with them when they cast lots with arrows, as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mary. Nor wast thou with them when they disputed the point. Behold, the angels said, O Mary, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and the hereafter, and of the company of those nearest to Allah. He shall speak to the people in childhood and in maturity, and he shall be of the company of the righteous. She said, O my Lord, how shall I have son when no man hath touched me? He said, Even so, Allah created what he willeth. When he hath decreed a plan, he but saith to it, Be, and it is. And Allah will teach him the book and wisdom, the law and the gospel and appoint him an apostle to the children of Israel with this message. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I make for you out of clay, as it were, the figure of a bird, and breathe into it, and it becomes a bird by Allah's leave. And I heal those born blind and the lepers, and I quicken the dead by Allah's leave. And I declare to you what ye eat, and what ye store in your houses, Surely therein is a sign for you if ye did believe. Holy Quran, Surah Ali Imran, Chapter 3, Verses 42 to 49. In your approach to the Christians, work on the assumption that every Christian is a good and sincere Christian, unless they prove otherwise. Read the above Quranic verse, if possible, in conjunction with their Arab equivalent. Phrase by phrase. You cannot imagine the tremendous impact Allah's words have on the listener. I have seen again and again that tears well up in the eyes of the listener, exactly as recorded in the Noble Quran. And when they listen to the revelation received by the Messenger Muhammad, thou wilt see their eyes overflowing with tears, for they recognize the truth. Holy Quran, Surah Maida. Chapter 5, verse 86 This is a positive approach. Treat them all with kindness and compassion they deserve. However, if they demonstrate their animosity and pour out their venom against the Holy Prophet, 
the Holy Quran and Islam, we are entitled to change our approach. We have already been warned against such eventualities in the last phrase of the ayah quoted at the beginning of this chapter. But most of them are perverted transgressors. End of chapter 1